Hello. So today we're having a look at the Cybergun AK-74. Now, I know my timing is perfect on this one, but I ordered it a while ago, and yeah, what are you going to do? Except, you know, try and be nice to each other and just leave each other alone. Anywho, so this came in a really nice, big, bright, shiny red box, and it's a step up from the AK-47 that the Cybergun used to sell. It also came with um, two bags of really gross-tasting candy. Anywho, so like the AK-47 before it, it's real wood, all metal, can be taken apart like the real deal. So you can take the cover off. Um, it, <clears throat> the gun itself weighs 2.6 kilograms. This weighs 450 grams, so just under three kilograms in, uh, just over three kilograms in total. Uh, unlike the, the 47, which is advertised and I've seen shot at uh, 2.3 joules, this one advertises itself as 4.3 joules. So it'll be interesting to see uh, if that is actually the case. Now this also has the mock charging handle and with the magazine you put the single CO2 cartridge in there. So far I've got 60 good shots of this. I've only had this for three days so this is by no means a review. This is just a hey check it out. Um, you can put 18 BBs in here and I'm pretty sure that this is the same as the AK-47 one. Now uh, for people who are just curious how things work, when you pull the trigger this moves, for, this moves this lever forward, and that's all that does. And that lever presses up against this as much as it can, G-presses it, but then when it gets to the end, it slips off. This rapidly rotates this back with a spring, hits a valve, CO2 gas goes out, BB goes down. Now, this is an AK, so it's supposed to be jank, so it is a little bit jank by default. Uh, it's not adjustable for windage, only elevation, which is kind of an issue on mine because mine shoots very very left. Uh, the sights on it are mildly loose but the front muzzle brake is really quite loose. But it's an AK, it's supposed to be jank. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the intro. Let's see what it's like to shoot. Alrighty, so 10 shots from 10 meters uh, down a smooth ball barrel with BBs. A grouping of 40 millimeters is not bad. It's pretty light at about 102.4 decibels, but um, the sun signature isn't too harsh, so it lessens the blow a little bit. As for the foot pounds of energy, uh, advertised as 4.3, I was actually getting about 4.44, so that's kind of nice. Uh, now, I could have got some other AKs, the like I said, the 47 from Cybergun, but that was just pretty long in the tooth and I just wasn't sure where to get one. I could have got the Crossman AK-1, which is fully automatic with blowback and uh, the works. And it looks pretty accurate from reviews. But I really wanted, I, I wasn't sure about what it was made out of, and I really wanted this whole wooden, metal, solid, janky, rattly feeling of an AK. Now, of course this is plastic, but everything else is metal and wood. So yeah, I'm pretty damn happy with my purchase. Uh, it's unfortunate about the circumstances around it. <sighs> if only people just learned how to leave each other alone and just be nice. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and if there's any questions, just go ahead and ask, and yeah, I'll make a follow-up video. All right, stay safe. Bye.